Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Junior. Once again, watching Junior Theme Park Dude and welcome back for an all new video. Today we will be looking at the HHN 2022 Speculation 3, well version 3 speculation map made by Horror Night Nightmares on Twitter. I'll have a link down to their Twitter page in the description. And yeah, this every um, few months they make a speculation map and this is the third one for this season. Obviously, two of them have been confirmed so far, Halloween and Legends Collide, at the time of making this video. Hopefully, they don't announce anything by the time I upload it, which would be like a day or two from now. So, if they do, then it'll be down in the description, anything updated. But the other eight mazes in here have not been announced yet, so that's what we're going to be looking at, as well as going over the stuff that has already been announced and thinking what I think could be seen from those mazes. But overall, I am looking forward to this event. Just the speculation map alone shows a lot of things that I am excited for. A few things I wish could be a little bit different, but yeah, we're going to get into that in a bit. But now it's time to look at Halloween and Universal Monsters Legends Collide, which are two mazes I'm very much looking forward to this haunt event. So, Universal Monsters Legends Collide, this is the teaser released by Halloween Horror Nights. Um, and yeah... It is going to have the Wolfman, Dracula, and the Mummy face off against each other to find an amulet that can grant them power. Wolfman wants it so he can end his curse, and Mummy and Dracula both want it so they can take over um, humanity. I don't know if it's going to be similar to Icons or like a different winners every time, but I'm very much excited to go through each of these Universal Monsters and to revisit them as well, because I did do the 2019 Universal Monsters house, so it will be neat to go finally back and see all these monsters once again. At Halloween Horror Nights. So the other maze at this um, event will be Halloween 1978 based off the original film. Not the new ones, it will be strictly off the original one. With it. I did hear some rumors of a few scenes from other of like the houses that will be at the I mean other films like uh, the original but it, this will mainly be the 1978 film so expect like the Michael Myers facade. This is rumored to be inside a parade warehouse so similar to where Beetlejuice and the Hill House were last year. A lot of potential for this house. I am definitely excited. This is my first time seeing Michael Myers at the event since 2019 was my first year. So I am excited to finally be able to see him here at Horror Nights. So now that we talked over the two uh, mazes that have been announced, now let's talk about the other eight that have not, as well as the five scare zones. So, starting off the top left, number A, the witch. So this maze, I'm very interested in to see how it works and what it exactly is because there's a lot of witch mazes especially in hollow scream so i don't know if this will it obviously is going to be a little bit higher quality but i don't know where you know what is going to take place there is not a lot of information on this obviously this is not going to be the final name they just must have heard witch house from somewhere so they just put this on the speculation map i do believe that there there was a witch in the uh um, we could grow from the pumpkin maze last year, so there could be some connection to that with this witch, but who knows. Honestly, that one is one of the least ones I know about. The next one, the Evil Dead with Ash and all of that, with zombies and just an entire fun time. I think this is going to be a very fun maze as well. I've had some good scares, but I think you're going to see Ash's RV. You're going to go in, see all these zombies. I think it's gonna be a, this has been done before at Halloween Horror Nights as well as Halloween. So those are the two mazes that if you're a long-time fan, you might not be an insane fan of. But I am excited, though, to see Evil Dead because this is a big IP at the event, especially at a year that seems to be a, have a lot of originals. So I'm looking forward to that. Next up, Halloween, we already covered that. Then El Cupacabra. This will be in the Fast and Furious location. Oh, wait, no, not Fast and Furious. It got moved to Soundstage where Yeti as well as Tooth Fairy was. So that's going to be interesting. I am excited, though, to see this because this has been on the speculation map for since the first version. So this maze has been on every version. It was early on speculated and still is there. It's going to be some like legends like how um hollywood is getting la lorena i guess we're getting el cupacabra don't really know much about el cupacabra but it seems to be like a very like i don't know like hard to describe but it's going to be like some demon thing i don't know but it seems to be interesting um next up is gonna be dead man's warp in the location where last year i um icons captured was dead man's worth has been speculated for a while and i'm very excited to be able to see this maze come to life because i know it is very like there's a lot of potential it seems to be like a ghost boat kind of story so you maybe be on like a dock you'll enter a giant boat and this will be a soundstage house which i think will used to be rumored to be a tent house along with oak with it with um bug house and then this one got moved out so will be interesting to see this 
So, but yeah, next up will be Horrors of Blumhouse featuring The Black Phone and Freaky. The Black Phone releases later this summer. I have not seen it. I will check it out though when it releases. The other film, Freaky, this is a comedy movie. Freaky is not a horror scary movie. It's a freaky movie. It's a comedy where a serial killer and teenage girl switch bodies and they have to try to get back to their normal body before the serial killer messes up her life too much. But... It is a very much a comedy film, so this could be like your Ghostbuster Beetlejuice type of thing, even though I feel like Evil Dead could definitely have some of that in there as well. I think this, I think the freaky side of Horrors of Blumhouse will have that, while your black phone side of Horrors of Blumhouse will be more scary and strict, even though it looks to just be about a kid getting kidnapped and he uses other kids' ghosts to help him. I don't know. But yeah, it seems very interesting. And then next up is Bug House, probably my most anticipated original maze. Bug House has a lot of potential there. Hasn't really been anything similar to it. Giant bugs coming or like scary big bugs coming at you from different corners and going through like their hives and ants, termites and mines and all that. I think that's going to be really neat to see as well as very scary. Seeds of Extinction 2. This used to be Wicked Growth 2 and it got replaced with Seeds of Extinction. I'm guessing it's because Seeds of Extinction happened longer ago so they feel like it's more time for a sequel than Wicked Growth, which I understand. And this will be very similar to Wicked Growth, I think, in a way, where it's going to be a lot of plants coming to life and you walk through. Don't know if it's going to have a similar story to the first one, because this does say it's a sequel house, so there might be a continued story. Might have, like, a little, in the teaser video for it, it might show a little description. I don't know, but I am excited for that. Next up, Legends Clyde. We already know all about that. The Weekend. This has been on there since the first speculation map as well. The weekend. I don't know. I think it is. It is de almost definitely confirmed because even the weekend themselves have said they're future to Halloween Horror Nights this year, on their Twitter page. So I am very much expecting them to appear at this event unless something like Billy Eilish, or Scream occurs where they cancel them at the last possible chance. So this will be located back in a parade house. Same with Legends Collide. So you'll have a lot more stuff. And Halloween Deacon moved from a parade house to a soundstage where Yeti and Texas Chainsaw were. Overall, I have been listening to some weekend music recently just to kind of get used to, like, I guess, you know, kind of get familiar with their music. I don't know, really. Scary. I don't Some of the music videos have a little scary stuff in it. But this could also be that Beetlejuice Ghostbuster situation that I was saying that could be the case for Freaky or Evil Dead. But I do feel like The weekend could have a lot of that as well in here. So yeah, that has to do with all 10 mazes at the event. Looks like a very solid lineup now after examining. You know, a couple things I would change, such as Seeds of Extinction make that wicked growth. Just because that would be, you know, a lot cooler in my personal opinion. Get rid of Horrors of Blumhouse and The Witch Maze and replace those with a stronger original and a stronger IP. The IP I was thinking could be something to do with Scream since the new movie just came out and the new one is coming out next year. And for the original, I was kind of hoping it could be a Slaughter Cinema 2, but more original to just feature the Usher and the icon. This should be the Usher, because I was really looking forward to that. Skipping Scare Zones for a second, let's go to shows, though. Marathon of Mayhem and Nightmare Fuel are rumored to return, both at the Fear Factor stage as well as the main Lagoon Plaza. Marathon of Mayhem is definitely going to get a new sub name. We don't know what it is yet. It's probably going to feature scenes from Evil Dead, Halloween, The Weeknd, Universal Monsters, Horrors of Blumhouse, and then maybe like a movie theme since that's, I think, what we're going for this year. So go back and go back to Scare Zones, traditional Halloween as you enter. This is obviously not the final name, and I feel like it's going to be some more Twisted Traditions in a way where it just has kind of generic Halloween stuff, and it just kind of gets you in the mood for HHN. If you go off to the right, you have Candy Mutant. No, if you go straight into New York, you have Candy Mutants. Candy Mutants, I think this could be similar to Tricks and Foods, even though we're also going to get that scary zone as well. Candy Mutants could be more candy, like Candyland, but imagine that twisted. Going back in front of um, Fast and Furious Supercharged, you're going to have Tricks and Foods, which they were present at last year's event for Eddie's um, Chainsaw May, um, Scare Zone. And they did have their own zone years at Islands of Fear, so that will be a cool returning zone. And N, you're going to have Scarecrow. Scarecrow is going to be, I feel like it could be like the same as Scarecrow the Reaping, but in Scare Zone form, so that's going to be really neat. And then O, you could have Vampire. Do not know if this means Vamp 85 or Vamp 2005 or like something like that, but that would be really cool if they did bring back Vamp like 
2005 or something. That'd be really neat to see at Halloween Horror Nights. So thank you all for watching this video. Please remember to massive like and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the Don't you never miss a brand new video. I have my socials in the description, so if you guys want to follow my Instagram, Twitter, or anything down there to keep up with myself and the channel that'd be greatly appreciated trying to grow this channel as much as i can because we have been a little bit slow recently but because only 92 percent of y'all are not subscribed watching this video so really hoping to get that number up but if at least you can do just give a like thank you guys so much so much i'm not gonna sit here and beg y'all because you know i'm not that type of person but yeah thank you guys for watching have a great day everyone see you bye